College. I'll be the moderator for this session. And first up, we have Fernando Soler from Broward College, and he'll be speaking on why. My name is Fernando. Uh, this is my first year at Broward College. And so according to a statistic by the American, uh, the Association of American Colleges and Universities, they actually found that a staggering 93% of employers would find that um, the ability to think critically, communicate clearly, and solve complex problems is more important than a candidate's undergraduate major. Yet another survey conducted in 2012 by the Association, by the American Management Association, found that more than half of executives and managers would rank their employees average at best in terms of critical thinking. Now this would be alarming statistics to any college students, fortunately being an honor. I know that you've all managed to stay calm and are already asking yourselves, what is critical thinking? Well, my purpose here today is to help you guys all become exceptional critical thinkers. First I'm going to clarify what critical thinking is and how it's done. Then I'm going to be explaining what Broadway College is doing to their question every possibility initiative to increase the capable, uh, critical thinking capabilities of its student body. And then I'll be highlighting the connections between philosophers and critical thinking. Now, critical thinking is one of those abstract terms like love and success that may have been explained to you when you're a little kid and that you're kind of just expected to know what it was. Um, so can I just go ahead and ask you all to think of a definition in your head of what critical thinking is? Great. Now, I'd wager, I'd wager that the majority of you thought of a scenario in which critical thinking actually took place. Like when at the beginning of the semester, one of your professors hands you a survey to fill out with information about yourself. And they put, the, put right next to you an inconspicuous question such as, what's your favorite color? The word, why? And then you sit there, and for the next five minutes, you're asking yourself, why is it a very great color? That's kind of what critical thinking is. But Broward College does a better job of defining it. They define it as uh, critical thinking as a process of evaluating information by questioning and testing assumptions, evaluating information, uh, accepting or rejecting arguments and perspectives, and applying reasoning to make informed decisions. All right, great. So in layman's terms, that's going to boil down to questioning every possibility. That means you're asking questions that haven't been asked before. Questions that need new answers. Questions which may challenge your own beliefs. And questions which may never be answered. Now that last one's a bit curious though. Normally the purpose of asking a question is to solicit an answer. So if there's no answer to be found, why would you ask a question? It's because asking questions is for a deeper understanding. Answers may just be the five problem. So what, what's Broward College doing to help its students ask more questions? Well, um, what it's doing, it's a five-year initiative that it's undertaking to enhance the student body's uh, critical thinking capabilities. This is actually its first year. Um, it's actually started in the fall, fall semester. Um, and what it's formed, it's a critical learning society in which professors get together and they discuss um, different ways of enacting critical thinking. Now the society breaks down into two groups. We've got the mentors and we've got the mentees. The mentors, they, they have more time to dedicate towards the initiative. And because of that, they attend critical thinking workshops um, outside, outside of the college. They come back and they relay that information to their mentees. They usually work in groups of two to three so that they can better apply critical thinking in the classroom. Now, this semester, uh, this semester at the beginning of the winter, um, the mentors are actually doing, are simultaneously teaching a regular class and a critical thinking enhanced class, in which they're taking the techniques that they've been discussing this entire year with their mentee, and they're actually applying them in the classroom to see how they actually take effect. Um, so it's kind of a kind of a case study, if you would, on critical thinking. Now, the next steps for Broward would actually be to construct a rubric so that other teachers can apply uh, critical thinking in general education classes. And then they're also going to be providing tools for teachers to allow their students to develop their own critical thinking skills. Now, a rubric 
and tools to think critically. These are both things that uh, philosophy has actually undertaken for over 2,000 years. Now, it started with Socrates when he roamed the streets of Athens, claiming that he did not, that the only thing he knew was that he did not know. From this stemmed um, the love of wisdom, which is what philosophy actually stands for. Um, I'm actually going to read you guys an excerpt from one of my papers. Um, philosophy derived from the Greek philosophy, which translates the love of wisdom, is widely recognized as one of the few areas of study in which definite answers are never required nor expected. In fact, when an answer becomes when a topic becomes a definite answer in philosophy, it actually transitions over into one of the more regimented fields, such as psychology. This leaves us in an odd situation when we attempt to define what philosophy actually is. Just like critical thinking, uh, the simplest and most effective way is to actually view it as a field in which the most important and overarching questions are asked, such as what's real and what is valuable. Now, with each new generation, new answers will develop to try to answer those questions. But as you can see, the most important part is that you ask those questions. So, with that in mind, regardless of whether you're studying philosophy or you're in your classroom thinking about what your favorite color is, I ask you all to just remember to ask what. And to question every possibility. Thank you. Hey, and um, I'm sorry to switch off the addiction. I actually have a question for the first presenter. Um, <laughs> um, I'm curious, as a student coming into a school with a program to develop critical thinking, uh, if you felt that you would miss out on opportunity through high school to focus more on critical thinking, since it is more valuable to the workforce, did you feel that your time before Broward left you I won't say unprepared, but basically time could have been spent more at school before going to Broward during your uh, you know, K through 12 education, focusing on critical thinking so that those people, uh, students who only have that kind of education would be better fit to go into the workforce. Yeah, um, actually, I think that um, high, school, high schools, I do think, could do a much better job of having their students think critically as opposed to just uh, presenting them with information and facts. Um, like my history teacher, um, she gave an example of how in history, in your high school history class, you're forced to remember facts. But it, um, I don't think I've remembered any facts from my college class, I, but I do remember, I understand the concept behind the history and how to apply the things from history into my daily life. So I think I learned more from my history class in college in one semester than I did from 12 years of high school.